let's see here. Um, this is where this is stand here is where I put my aloe plant here, and then I have uh, grow lights hanging down, kind of you know over it, um, and I have other plants along here. Well, my aloe plant is getting so tall that it's actually growing past the uh, uh, grow lights. So, my theory is I want to take this, these are rivets right here. What I want to do is take these out, kind of cut them out. What? Looking retard, I guess. I don't know. I want to, <coughs> so. What I want to do is just kind of cut these rivets out, put nuts and bolts in here. This way, my theory is to be able to remove the nut and bolt when the plant when plants get too tall, and then I can just fold this down. But before I do that, I want to make sure that it will actually fold down, not just fold down here and hit the shelf. So I've got about ten and a half so let's see I've got ten inch here oh that'll be real close that'll actually come swinging down just above this uh, deal here I believe yeah so it should be alright it'll be snug and then, you know, if I ever want this shelf back, I can just swing this back up, because this, these are hinged right here, so I, that's my theory, folks. Now watch, I just end up destroying this shelf, which I looked online. Back when I bought this, like 15 years ago, this was like 35 bucks, all right? Now they're going for well over 100 bucks. Let's see if I can want to draw this out. Wow, that's just spinning. I need. I don't have a pair of actual pliers, so I'll use the best I got out here. See if that'll work. Oh nope. <laughs> Gee. Damn. Hmm hmm hmm. that one they're just aluminum rivets folks huh Let's see if I can't use these to pry that away Washer. Yeah, they're just cheapies. Okay, well, in case you <coughs> for those that didn't see, or can't see, I should say. <laughs> Shit. 
damn it. I hit the damn sore spot. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Mm. Oh, my thumb is now numb. Mm. For those that don't know, I've talked about this in previous um, videos. I did damage to my thumb right across the cuticle area years ago. And now the nerves, the nerve endings at that area is so sensitive that the slightest little bump to that area and it literally feels like I slammed my thumb in the car door or, so, or something, you know, hit it with a sledgehammer. Mm. Oh my gosh, it, it's killing me right now. Just keeps wanting to spin. Where's the? See if I can't just pry the. Huh? Okay. Now, see if I can't poke that through. There's that. Ooh, that's even hotter. Holy crap. Ouch. Yeah, see, this is what I was thinking. Just fold this down like that when I don't need it. Or when the plant gets too tall, then I can just lower this down and put the plants here, the tall plants. Of course, it does kind of bind on the on this side here actually you see there's a whole I'd say about an eighth inch of gap there's no no gap here yeah it's binding wonder why Oh well. Hmm. It's good enough, really. It doesn't have to worry. I don't have to worry about too much. Now I just gotta find screws. Oh, well, before I do that, where did I? I could have swore I had a claw hammer out here. Tap that back into place. Huh. Okay, well. And now I can put the uh, aloe plant here that I just transplanted um, into the bigger pot I can put it here <coughs> and then I can let it grow even taller um, uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to transplant it again here in the uh, near, very near future I mean that thing is really growing folks 
Um, uh -oh. Let's see, I don't want to lose these. I still need these washers. Okay. Okay, now see if I got a uh oh. I got long enough bolts, just not these here are wall anchors. Do I, are they thin enough? Try these first. Yeah, see, that's damn. Hmm. Well, huh? There's a key here. I wonder what that's to. <laughs> okay, so these are not thin enough. Um, so, nothing here. Okay, so that's. I don't think these. This is the one I need. I think it's down at the bottom. I think these are. Let's slide this down here. Oh, I guess it is the one I need. Let's try the. Okay, so it'll fit there. Fit there. Awesome. Now is it long enough? Because I've got to still have the washer between. Oh no, just short. Darn. Uh, let's go ahead and take this washer out. See if we can't. No, nope, even with the removal of the washer. Damn. Hmm. I think that's about the same length, just thinner. Dude, I think that's the same length. Yep. Come on.
Yeah, these are the wood screws, okay. So, uh, and this, nothing. Uh, Well, I guess I can take this and see. Yeah, I can take the, these uh, rivets here and to I don't know, Home Depot later on or Menards or whatever and just look for these, this length, this thin. <coughs> and that way I would know. That would be alright. I mean, I'm not in a hurry because uh, I need this down anyways. So, <coughs> so there's that. Um, I guess, like I said, that's a short video. Um, I just needed to uh, give me some more height for my aloe plant. It's outshining everything um, and pretty soon uh, I'll probably have to do the same thing here lower this one you know get it to where this will drop down as well um, and then I just have to use this uh, shelf I don't know I might have to just buy a whole new shelf instead of just go through and remove all these rivets might just get a new shelf altogether or something but uh, my window is getting really really packed with aloe plant you know it's it's getting wider you know wider and then taller as well and it's it's just it's really just crazy just it's getting huge I don't know if I'm going to be able to transplant it another time to be honest with you because I've never known and I'm, I've never had an aloe plant grow this fast before um, so yeah I'm, I might be able to take the whole thing out eventually and then place it into a bigger pot but I, I just don't know without doing severe damage to it um, I just don't know um, we'll have to figure something out you know